I'm here with my friend and colleague, Seth Grove, from York County. Seth um, served as last year's uh, majority chairman on the Committee for Vocational Education and Career Readiness. And there was a document that was produced last session, Seth, and uh, we acted on it today in the House by moving nine pieces of legislation. Your work is being acknowledged. That doesn't happen all the time. It doesn't specifically for uh, special reports, and, and uh, usually it takes a little while for the General Assembly to act on them. But we we're lucky enough, nine bipartisan bills, you know, vocational education, job creation, economic growth is a nonpartisan issue. You know, we got a skills gap. You know that. You're a leader. You talk about it all the time here in Harrisburg. There's not a day to go by that doesn't go by that Mike Tobash doesn't get up and talk about how we need to start connecting kids and jobs moving forward. And you had a big bill, a part of that package as well. So I did have a piece of that legislation. But the thing that is so gratifying to me is so often we... Uh, order studies and uh, during last session uh, you had a number of hearings and I participated in some of them around the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania to get nine pieces of legislation that's going to bode well for economic growth and student success in the state of Pennsylvania it I think it means an awful lot and as you mentioned before not only a bipartisan effort but the committee moved nine bills today that were voted on unanimously yeah no and education can be a very tough topic um, you know I, I've been on the committee for a number of years uh, most committees get a little contentious on education policy issues. You know, this was overwhelming majority, unanimous votes. Um, it was done together in a bipartisan fashion. It's the way government should work. Um, it's open for business. It's working because you know, jobs, economic growth, getting kids into great paying jobs, and 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 just doing the best job you can for your constituents. You know, that's what we're all here to do. And I think it reflected in in what we did today in the House Education Committee, moving a great bill of packets. We're about 45 days away from the time that we're constitutionally supposed to close a budget. And over the last number of cycles, we've been, we've been behind the, the, the eight ball on this. And, uh, you know, I characterize this a lot of times as the, we've got to get out of this mindset that when we fall short or spend more than we need to, we borrow. And when we're looking for recurring revenue, we look to taxes. But growth in the economy is what we really need to be focused on. And again, if I talk about uh, our number one opportunity, it has to do with providing uh, employers in the state of Pennsylvania, job creators, with what they need. And education is our biggest spend. Absolutely. We spend billions in education, uh, both state and, and locally, uh, including some, some federal government dollars. Um, and, you know, utilizing that money uh, better and more focused is a great thing. Um, you know, highlight your bill on EITC. What a great concept. Matching employers who need kids and need jobs um, to the employers who, who, who have those jobs and allow them to fund it to make sure that the employer has the trained kids when they come out of their, their CTE program. It, it's a win-win. It creates those partnerships moving forward. It's a great bill. And those are the kind of decisions we need to make within the budgetary constraints. It's not free. It's uh, $15 million to start off, but I think it's $15 million that are invested in the future of Pennsylvania moving forward. And those are the kind of budgetary decisions we need to make. Things that are actually going to grow our economy, uh, provide greater opportunity for our children and ourselves moving forward. And listen, there's going to be a point where we're all going to be retired, and we want that next generation being as successful as they can. And this is a great start to it. That's exactly right. You know, you talk about an, an opportunity for growth, an opportunity to allow businesses to invest in the economy of Pennsylvania uh, and do the hard work we have to do to move forward. But you had a piece of legislation in that package, too. Not only were you a leader as far as the study went, you have a piece of legislation. Just tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, real simple. It provides school districts and CT programs some flexibility. Let's say a business comes in and we have we have a, a new job, a new, completely new area. We need trained students. It gives those, those programs the flexibility to get past all the bureaucratic nightmare they have to do to plan new programs. Go and work with that industry to, to get that training developed at the local level so we have prepared students to be job ready as soon as they graduate. Simple as that, but it's something that doesn't happen now. I love talking about your legislation. You know, we have a dynamic in the state of Pennsylvania. We've got a great natural gas industry, right? We're an energy commonwealth. And in the southwest corner of the state, uh, you've got this cracker plant with the opportunity to really expand and improve e uh, uh, Pennsylvania's economy throughout the entire state, right? There's so many downstream opportunities that exist. And the natural gas industry, um, our ability to make sure that we manage it properly and allow it to grow 
uh, it just makes a lot of sense. But here's what I hear that that people working in that industry um, notice uh, are sometimes locked out of the opportunities because they don't have the training that's necessary. And people that notice the industry see that we've got license plates from other places like Texas. We want Pennsylvania license plates, Pennsylvania workers at those locations. And your bill makes perfect sense. Look, if we've got a great opportunity and we've got a business that is willing to invest and we've got students that are looking for uh, for uh, applicable education and being ready for a career right in front of them, why shouldn't we make that easier? I applaud your effort. I applaud your leadership. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mike. You too, Mike. Take care, man.